Well, first I flutter my eyelashes. Excellent. Then I get to flutter my eyelashes. Then I'm gonna flutter my eyelashes too. Hi guys, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back today to do another last try on. Today we're moving on to a different brand. We are talking about Ilor's new lashes. So specifically with the Ilor lashes, I will be talking about the Ilor collab lashes. So these are with the different just influencers. We are starting a new brand, which is Ilor, and these are gonna be the first sets. And before I get into it, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And also, don't forget to leave a comment below. And also, don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. So again, let's get into this last try on. So these are the first pair. These are from the Ilor X Talia. These are the Lady T Faux Mink Collection. These are light and fluffy. These are cute. I like these. Faux Mink. These don't feel as good as the Ardell or the Kiss ones, but they are light and airy. I have to admit, if you do put these on, these are just a pretty everyday lash. You can possibly wear glasses with this one. But these are cute. They're okay. They're really, really light, soft. Um, I wish they were softer. I wish they really felt like that, like big time. But they're okay. The lash is okay. They're cute. They're nothing too big about them. Now, these are... Let me see. What are these described as? They are feather-like feel, reusable, easy on, gentle off. This is long and luscious faux mink style is a real eye opener and my go-to red carpet accessory. They are very straightforward. They like literally they're just like and then span out. They're nothing too fluttery, too cute about them. These are light. These are very everyday. Just something to pop on and run out like yeah, these are really easy lashes to put on too. So the bands are comfortable. They're not stiff. They don't feel stiff. I don't feel anything on them. They are feather light. They're right about that. Um, even me blanking is just, it's really soft. But these style is okay. It's a baby lash for me, but they're okay. Next pair. All right, guys, so the next style is actually from, again, Ilore, Vegas Nay. This is the Grand Glamour Dramatic Lash. Now, y'all, woo, these, I, if, let me show you how many times I had to cut these. You see the extra little piece? I had to cut these four times, two, two. These were some fluffy, long lashes. These are very different. These are very, very different styling. I've had other curly ones, but these are very full. Um, the band is on there. She is definitely on there, but I feel like I can feel the band. Let's see what it says about this lash style. 
Um, reusable glue included is new 18 hour hold, latex free, vegan friendly. These are very, very, very wispy, very curly. Um, the curl is extreme. This is a very fuller lash. You guys can see this is just so full, very curly. Even the band is very curly. This is a very interesting band and lash. I don't think I have anything quite built like it. It kind of does remind me of the chiffon lash again, how it's kind of the webbing, but it's so full that you can't even see the webbing. I think from the lash band, it kind of mimics the chiffon lash. The lash band does, but not the lash hairs and all this. These feel kind of soft, kind of like a, they are like a faux mink kind of feel, but they're not straight up faux mink. So these are an interesting texture, interesting lash band. It's a very interesting style. Now these on by themselves are very pretty. They are very Vegas ba ba boom kind of lashes. They really are. But I have to admit everything from the lash band to the hairs, the design of it, a very interesting lash. They're not heavy on the lash, but I can feel the band. I can feel the lash band. It's not stiff, but I can definitely feel the band and I can definitely feel the hairs touching, you know, the lash is touching my eyebrow. I can definitely feel that. That This is a lash. This is a very full, curly, a little bit wispy lash, a very glamour, full, big old lash. This is really big. All right, guys, so these are the next pair from Ilor. These are the Ilor with Nicole. I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm just gonna show you. So these are the next pair. 143 was code for I love you. You are going to 143 the drama of these lashes. Oh, that's cute. These are handcrafted, contact lens friendly, and they're a natural look. Um, Let me tell you right now, these lashes are small. The lash band are baby small. If you do have a longer, wider eye, this is not gonna fit it. Just not gonna lie. This one is just barely fit in mine. And somewhat because I would like a little bit more in the inner corners, but literally that's that's it. That's on the band. That's that's all that's on that lash band. So if you do have smaller, technically smaller eyes, it probably you're gonna like this when your lash line is not so long or wide, you'll probably like this lash. Um with this too, this lash is extremely spiky. You see that extremely. Um the feel of it. The feel of this lash, it's not hard. It's not plastic, but it's not soft and feather-like either. I definitely can feel this lash band, even though how small and short it is, I definitely can feel it. Um, this lash is double decked up wispy with spikes. It's This is a sharp, sharp lash, lash. <laughs> very sharp lash. When I look at it, I'm just like, I feel like shing. Like this is a very, pinpoint triangular kind of lash. This is a serious lash. If you do do like a smoky eye with this, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is a definitely a good lash for that. So any really strong point liner or very deep dark eye looks, this would look really, really good with that. Cause it just has that sharp feel, that really defined look. The lashes, you know, saying natural, they are right. They don't feel as hard as the band. Now the band is a little more stiff. She is very, there even if it's short and little i just wish it did have a little more length um i'm glad i don't have to cut it that's a positive part about it but this is a very strong lash even though it's a really little band interesting lash i don't have any quite spiky like this and
All right, guys, these are the last pair from the Eyelore collab collection. These are the Vegas Nay. I hope I'm saying it right now. These are the Shining Star Lashes. It is considered a lightweight lash. Actual look on the eye. It says it's a beautiful new range of lashes. This is a cool texturized style with pointed tips and for a fabulously full look. But this lash, guys, I definitely got to cut off some just like the other Vegas Nay ones. These have a still that kind of va va boom a little bit, but they're a lot lighter a lot more natural the lashes feel a little plasticky don't care for that they do definitely are curly even the bands on the cartoner that it comes on it sticks to it also too it's interesting it's like a little sticker and they have the lashes stick in the holes there which it's an interesting how they put it on there um with this lash it is very curly even the band the band and the lash are plastic feeling I do not like this feeling. I like the style, and especially, you know, all I had to do is nip off some, but this does not feel soft. The lash hairs do not. They are a little bit choppy, curly, and just straight. They don't have any definition besides the curl. The band is literally plastic. It is annoying my eye right now. It's really driving it insane. So I really do not care for that. That's the unfortunate part. Um, the band is just, uh, and it's really hard to get on to stay put and look presentable really yeah this lash is just mm, like now this is the plastic stiff feel that i'm telling y'all about to stay away from those lashes because these are hurting the inner and the outer part of my eye just oh these are going to be my least favorite pair y'all because these bad boys are just still not wearable i wouldn't recommend them but like so her other style is cute but this is whew, like keeps digging in my eyeballs too plasticky too stiff hey guys so that was my lash haul for the eye lore newbie so these guys are different i'm just gonna say that <laughs> these lashes they all gave me a different variation of things they really really did so out of so far just starting the eye lore two out of four is not bad give them that but i really want to dig in more i want to dive in more into the brand so we definitely are going to so what i have gotten from ilore so far is that they do have a very distinctive band they want their bands to be very sturdy whether they are kind of stiff or they are shorter whether they are longer but i realize when they have natural they have really really light and the bands are very feather like it is and then the rest they have a lot more sturdy thicker fuller some are stiff bands so i've noticed their lash bands are a little bit different from ardell versus kiss as well so yeah to me i lore is it's not bad it does give you different styles i did like that second style a lot actually when i cut it more the right way it did come out really 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 va va boom but so far, I can't tell what Eyelore is going with. So these collabs, I know those are their styles and different additions they came out with. So I can't put my finger on yet if I really am like, oh yeah, I'm for this or I don't know how Eyelore is going to do compared to the other two brands. We shall see here in the future. But so far, two out of four is not bad. And we got plenty more to try and do. So again, guys, thank you for watching my last try on and haul with Eyelore Lash with the collab edition, that is. And also, you guys already know, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. Don't forget to leave a comment below. A nice little thumbs up would help. And also, too, don't forget to hit that notification button so you can see when I pop up with these lashes. So again, guys, thanks for watching me, Nelly Doing Things. And you guys already know what I'm going to say. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Bye.